This thing fires up. It fires up as an ATX system. All right, here's the deal. You see this old thing? I mean, it's old. You see there's a classic AT style keyboard connector, the pass through AC power for a monitor. This thing is old, old, old. It's a Pentium 2, 350 megahertz. Look at all these cards. There's a dial-up modem, for God's sake. So what's going on? Look, a turbo switch. Wow. So here's what's going on here. This computer runs a whole laundromat. Yes, there's another video I probably haven't published at the time of this one where I repaired a laundromat server computer that ran Linux. Well, <laughs> this one runs DOS. MS-DOS. Oh my god. So here's the deal. I lucked up big time. This is an AT power supply. The power switch here runs down here and it has that nice affirmative clicky clicky. But look, you push it in, it stays in. You push it in again, it comes back out. That's the old way of powering things. However, the new ATX standard doesn't do that. It has a soft power switch. So see this? This is the old AT style power connectors, all right? Now, there, I noticed something when I went in here. Pentium 2s were at the weird transitional time between the Pentium and more modern computers where ATX started coming on the scene. And this board, and I'll have to crank the gain up. Hold on just a second. This board, that <laughs> probably looks awful, uh, but this board has both AT style power connectors here and ATX style, if you get the ribbon out of the way, ATX style here. And I plugged up a test supply and it turned out that the ATX style power connector plus this thing here that says sleep power, which you may not even be able to see down there, but it does have a silk screen set of words that says sleep power. This thing fires up. It fires up as an ATX system. So this motherboard is capable of both types of power. Even though it has an AT style keyboard connector and not the standard ATX backplate setup, it has ATX power supply capability. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rip this out along with its power switch, put an ATX style supply in, which it looks like it actually has the screw offsets that match that. Then, over here, because we don't have a power switch that does momentary contact, I will steal this reset button, which is momentary contact, and turn it into the main power switch. They don't need a reset button anyway. They could always just turn it off and on. And that will rescue this ancient DOS system. I hope this has been educational, informational, and fun. Have a wonderful day. Take care.